before we get into the matches, we do have some free-for-all festivities to start out the show here. So guys, before we get into the matches and into this free-for-all, let, let's talk about the free-for-all free a little bit. Um, tell me about your experiences with the free-for-all, especially on the main stage, whether from a competitive standpoint or from a, a commentator standpoint. Well, I made a couple of free-for-all finals back in my day in Europe. I know Europe's not quite the standard of NA, but I know what it's like. This is where you find the cream of the crop. I mean, speaker players like Pistola, absolute free-for-all kid, and then he came through, became one of the best force players. Perhaps we're going to see some of the best players of our future time. So it's a great chance to be on that stage and prove what you're made of. Oh, yeah. I mean, uh, back in the early days of Halo, I think free-for-all was definitely the only way that you could really break into the top pro scene. Yeah. Um, everyone in that, that upper top eight inner circle was was always seemingly shunning you from getting into there, right? And and I remember once I got into that inner circle and seeing Pistola win free-for-all after free-for-all, we still just said, oh, he's just a free-for-all kid. You know, <laughs> we don't need to pick him up. And then sure enough, you're right. He ended up being one of the best 4v4 players of all time in Halo history. So. Uh, it's definitely a, a big thing to look out for. Um, players like myself, strong side, uh, numerous guys have really come up in the ranks due to those uh, free-for-all placings. And man, you know, we, we're lucky to have something like that here this weekend. Yeah, pretty excited to see this happen. I remember in the St. Louis event, I think it was, we had a free-for-all competition there where Renegade from Straight Rippin ended up winning the thing. Oh yeah. Uh, and as you as you're mentioning. You know, a lot of talent can come for these free, from these free-for-all events. There's a fair amount of money on the line. And the opportunity to just come to a Halo event and be able to compete it is a ton of fun. And, and any time there's a free-for-all at one of these events, there's always a massive line. There's a lot of people interested in just trying out how they fare against all the other, all these other players. Oh, yeah. You learn a lot from just, you know, jumping in, playing with a, a bunch of different guys, uh, kind of getting your feet wet, so to speak. And by doing that, it kind of takes some of the edge off, right, from competing when when you go into some of these other matches where you're not actually in a 4v4, you know, format, it it's a little bit nerve-wracking, you know? You look at some of the players next to you, if you do poorly, well, maybe some of your teammates think differently about you. Next thing you know, the the nerves kind of set in and you might lose the match. But yeah, when we're talking about free-for-all, uh, it's nice that you can kind of just relax and get some games in. And some decent money they're playing for as well. I mean, $1,500, I think, for the winner. I remember playing at European 4v4 events and first place would get that much money. So a real chance for them to just like take some nice cash home and really show why they're one of the best free-for-all players in NA. I wonder how fun that is too, because these guys are sitting on the main stage here at the ESL Studios in Burbank. These are the same seats that we're going to see Optic in later. We're going to see Liquid versus Straight Rippin in the first match. So you got to wonder if they're feeling any nerves at all. But it's time to get started with the free for all final. With the commentary for this first match is going to be Strong Side and Wonder Boy. Take it away. Thank you, Alex. Yep's here with Wonder Boy. Let's get that Wonder Side duo going here for this free for all. These guys have been playing all weekend long. 96 competitors to start it out. Six man FFAs, single elimination, and we are down to the final six. Two sick, strong shot, sidekick, ice disciple, Rasa Libre, and I am constant. Oh my word, strong shots actually started this game off with a spree. So. Pretty good point of view to start us off, Mike. The FFA, as Gaskin said on the desk, is the proving ground for talent. It's been proved in the past. Pistola, the likes of Karma back in the Halo 2 days. It's, it is, really is, especially a, a big tournament like this, it is a big springboard for your career. If you were to win the free-for-all tournament at with the World Championships, that's going to get your name out there, man. That's going to turn some people's heads. So big performances here in this free-for-all final could really jumpstart some of these guys' careers. All right, well, taking a look at Too Sick as he makes a move here to Red 2, but Strong Shot, he's going to get the perfect kill on him with the Magnum taking him down. Let's see if Too Sick is going to be able to do anything here off the spawn as he spawns up at the car bubble, making his way over towards Red 2, but you got to move quick, so we'll move over to Rasa Libre. Cool fact about Rasa Libre, this guy used to be a competitive boxer, wow. talking about how he is just a competitive Competitive person Ooh, showing no mercy okay. right now. All right. Just giving some body disrespect right there to Too Sick. Yeah, Too Sick actually former teammates as well with another player in this free-for-all competition in this final right now, Sidekick, who 
is in this free for all final. So former teammates, that Tusik actually did play at Vegas in the free for all, got around top 40. He was pretty disappointed with his performance, but he's made it right here at the Halo World Championships. He's here in the free for all final. You can see though in the kill feed sidekick, his former teammate actually coached him at Vegas with two in a row there as well. So. Too sick again, one of those players trying to make a name for themselves right here, and we're looking over towards Strong Shot, who actually you, you want to know Strong Shot's gamer tag? He wanted to actually have Strong Side. No. Yeah, for real. Back in the old Halo 3 days, he wanted to be named Strong Side, but his internet back then wasn't good enough to watch some of the old North American tournaments, so he actually had no idea you even existed. I gotta hear that story <laughs> on he, how he decided to create that gamer tag. So crazy, but we're over with Ice Disciple. Picking up the double kill. Let's check out from his POV. He's actually going to go down. So let's go back over. Let's go to I Am Constant as he picks up the sword. This guy is going to get the sword kill on Rasa Libre. Nice little fact about I Am Constant. He started playing in Halo 2. Didn't get into the competitive scene until Halo Reach. So this guy has been gaming for so, quite some time. And my man got into it in H2. I love, gotta love this guy. Yeah. So six kills right now in fourth place, but still not too far behind. You're gonna see 10 kills for the leader right here, which is gonna be too sick, up by two kills, but still anyone's game right now. A lot of time left on the clock. This is one game. The winner of this will take home $1,500. Second place, 1,000. Third place, 500. Yeah, that's a lot of moolah. I wonder what's going in these guys' heads right now, Mike. I mean, your mentality obviously changes when you get to a free-for-all final. Too sick there, just shaking his head after he takes down sidekick, obviously, as I said before, former teammates. But I've got to ask, as a man who's been in previous free-for-all tournaments, been up there in the finals, even won some yourself, how does your mentality change when you, when you get to this kind of late stage of the tournament? You're so close to the win, and if you win it, obviously, as I said before, your career can really jumpstart. Like, what, what goes on in your head during these games? Yeah, you're honestly just focused on just trying to really obviously get your name out there but you're focused on winning this game you're focused on just getting your name out there so people can see like hey this guy won a free-for-all yeah it might not happen over day just by winning uh, one free-for-all but people are gonna start to realize and your name's gonna get out there people are gonna talk about you and maybe even play a few games with some other top players because they just want to try you out see how good you are would you say that adds a lot more pressure to this one game in particular Oh, 100%. And then, actually, let's move over to Ice Disciple as he's got the sword. Was talking to him before the match, and he said his dream is to go pro right now. He has been gaming for quite some time. This man started playing when he was four years old. His older brother got an Xbox One, or excuse me, an Xbox with the original Halo. And decided to let his younger brother play. So he started gaming, and now he's sitting up here on main stage at the Halo World Championship 2017 Finals, playing in the FFA Finals. That's not bad right there. That is not bad. Anyway, we'll jump more into the game right here. Strong shot with just a couple of kills off the lead right now. 6.30 left in the... Uh, left on the clock, excuse me, as we see Constant again with the sword. He's already got one taking down Strong Shot. That's two in a row now taking down Too Sick as well. Again, just two kills off of the lead. We're around halfway through this game. Don't forget, this is a 12-minute game. Around six minutes minutes left. We're seeing actually quite close competition at the moment. I actually want to swap over to Too Sick. I believe he's the man that was in the lead for early parts of the game, but looks like he's dropped off a little bit here. He's three kills down right now. Yeah, he's got to stay alive here, trying to not show up on radar. That's what that quick little crouch movement is going to do for him. He's not going to appear on radar, and he's going to slowly get closer to his opponent. But Rasa Libre, he's in fourth place with 12 kills, and that just shows how close these guys are matched in skill right now. Fourth place is only two kills behind first place. Rasa Libre is going to go down, though. Let's move over to Ice Disciple and see what he's going to be able to do. Finds Ooh. Too Sick, but Too Sick is going to take him down. But that is our leader. Ice Disciple is in first place right now with 15 kills. Yeah, big scalp to take there from Too Sick. Taking down the leader, that's going to give you confidence. The camouflage should be coming up pretty soon. I mean, in these free-for-all games with that camouflage in kind of the middle area of the map, sometimes players, if they don't get the first one, they don't know the time on it they just forget about it so be interesting to see if anyone actually is aware of that coming up very soon but looks like strong shot at the moment he's a bit of a way off the lead at the moment to be honest with you six kills down i'd like to see him start stringing some kills together right if he really wants a chance at, at winning this final if he could have maybe stole a double kill right there he maybe could have again bounced back and started pushing forward but it's going to be i am constant to take him down and he's the, uh, the actual leader of the game right now he's up by two yeah talking about picking up 
just some kills. There's a killing spree here for Constant, taking first place, 19 kills. Now, it's all about trying to pick up those weak players. You don't always want to be the guy just leading the charge and getting the players one shot because then you're just picking up a lot of assists. That's not what it's about. You're going for kills here. Over to Sidekick, though, in fourth place with 13 kills, making his way over to Red 2 towards this pink side. He does have the Carmine, a great weapon to have that kills, has a very quick kill time, oh. almost gets Ninja. Oh my word. Got saved there, Rasa Libre missed the Ninja there. Would have been devastating for Sidekick, but Sidekick now still alive, trying to pick up a few more kills. Will take down Constant, trying to stay alive, but nades are coming in. He'll finally go down. Yeah, Constant actually the leader at the moment, so we'll stay on his point of view. Four minutes left in the game. The next closest player to him you can see in the bottom right hand corner of your screen just two kills away something we haven't really touched upon though mike is the this right here upgrading your weaponry in, in free for alls right it's so much easier to to pick off those 1v1s that other players are having if you have a, a battle rifle or a carbine because you just have that upgraded weaponry does a little bit more damage fires a little bit quicker so it's it's nice it's nice to upgrade your weaponry in free for all and we've seen that a lot out of the point of views we've seen so far right players picking up the storm rifle players picking up the battle rifles the carbines that are on the map and you can see right here how deadly they can be but constant can't quite make the double happen that could actually uh come back to bite him we actually see Russell libre right here with the camouflage he is five kills off though and with only three minutes left he needs to start stringing some kills together maybe get a few kill steals here and there and he still has a chance of winning this talking about three minutes left this is unlimited score to win so we are playing the full time limit out the player with the most kills will win the match if there is a tie it will go down to the assist and we'll see who will win but we're getting ahead of ourselves we got a lot of time left over to two sick who's trying to bring himself back into this game flying over towards the pink side of the map but rasa libre is going to be hiding right around this corner he's going to take down two sick and rasa libre just a couple kills behind this first place spot he finds sidekick he goes down still down by two but he's holding second place by a few kills yeah he actually is i mean it's this man at the moment that's in the lead and he has been for most of the game and he can't quite get the sword kill off right there that's gonna be too sick to take him out he's a little bit off the pace as well five kills behind but looks as if it is still constant still in first but i believe rasa libre is actually right behind him too sick picking up one right there with the storm rifle just around two minutes left in the game so this is where players start to seize up a little bit, right? We'll see some of the players who rises to the occasion. There's two minutes left. The two whole pack left. is pretty close to each other right now. Anyone could win this game, and with just two minutes left, we're gonna separate the men from the boys right here, Mike. Yeah, too sick. We'll pick up the Storm Rifle kill on Constant. Now making his way out towards pink side. It is coming down to the final minutes. It all comes down to this. Let's see if Too Sick is going to be able to slowly bring oh, himself back. He takes down Sidekick for the killing spree. Too Sick moving over to blue two. Spots a player on his radar underneath the base. That's Disciple. That's big. He gets a few shots, takes him down with the Magnum. Let's see. We are all tied up 23 to 23. Disciple was actually the man who's in first place. And now, just like that, it's actually Too Sick almost taking the lead. He tied it for a second right there, but it's uh, uh, Rasa Libre, I do believe, actually, who has the lead at the moment. He just picked up a big double off his own. He's in the lead by one now, and with only one minute ten left in this game, you've got to say, it's getting very, very close. Looks like Constant is right behind him, though. If you notice the color of Rasa Libre, he chose green because he is a fan of Optic Gaming. Nice. That is his favorite team as well. Let's see if he's going to be able to close this out, staying here with Constant, <gasps> but no. it's going to be Rasa Libre to take down the That's Sword huge. player comes That's in, huge. gets the double kill. He's got 27 kills, 45 seconds left on the clock, looking to spot any players across the map, throwing some grenades, finds the BR to get that upgrade from the Magnum. But he has a sword in his back pocket. <gasps> He'll pick up the kill on Constant. Up by three kills, nades coming in from everywhere. Gets the oh. splinter grenade kill for the double kill. Rasa Libre showing no mercy right now. Yeah, no mercy at all. And with only 20 seconds left, he's in the lead with 29 kills. We'll actually swap over to him. See the bottom right-hand corner of your screen. That's four kills the lead now. It would take an overkill from another player pretty much to win this game. Rasa Libre, he's pulled out clutch. Just eight seconds left. He's the Halo World Championship. 
FFA winner. Congratulations. Rasa Libra, look at that hype right there. Your man, Rasa Libre, the FFA champion of the Halo World Championship 2017 FFA Finals. Big smiles all around. All these guys worked hard all weekend long to make it here to play on the main stage where we will soon see the likes of Optic Gaming, Straight Rippin', Team Liquid, and Team Envious play here. Great sportsmanship shown all around. Rasa Libre taking home the crown as well as that $1,500 first place prize. And also the bragging rights that come with it, Mike. Obviously, we said before the game, so many talented players that we still we see still at the top of the game now as well have come through this kind of free-for-all system, right? So it's so cool we're seeing free-for-all at the Halo World Championships and, and Rasa Libre, just, his stock is rising right now after winning that free-for-all. Yeah, definitely got the competitive spirit and competitive drive. And I mentioned earlier, this guy used to be a competitive boxer. He is now a, he's a boxing coach now. And uh, he still has that competitive drive, talking about how he's been playing Halo for quite some time. This is the man that's the big Optic Gaming fan as well. So it does sound like we have Joshua Gray down with an interview. Down to you, Josh. Congratulations, Rasa Libre. That was quite a performance. You fought through 96 competitors, and now you're the winner. How does it feel? Uh, it's uh, kind of surreal. Uh, I, I didn't expect to win it all. Um, but, you know, just playing and kind of working my way through, it, uh, it was looking like it was a very strong possibility. So it was pretty cool being up here with all these competitors. But, um, yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty mind-blowing right now. Uh, now, before they came to us, you told me this is going to be your first and last tournament you're retiring from this why the retirement because it seems like you could be a free agent right now yeah um i just kind of want to shift my focus elsewhere i love halo i love video games um there is a i was watching what really made me get back into gaming was uh watching you know like lethal and frosty up on their streams grinding for like the next tournaments and you know watching them play like i really had a strong desire to play and at the time i didn't have a setup so i was like you know what i don't know what's stopping me from going to a tournament so i bought my setup uh, next thing, next thing I know, Vegas popped up. I went to that tournament, played a little bit, and then this is like my first real official tournament where I'm staying from Friday to Sunday and uh, making it all the way through. All right. Well, maybe somebody can convince you a little bit later in case some of these rosters open up. Who would you want to win for this Halo World Championship? <clears throat> I would have to say, you know, I'm all about the bandwagon. I don't care who's. I don't. I'm not like loyal to anybody. I just love. I just love all the teams to be honest. Um, uh, but I would have to say Optic, man. I really like watching them play. Um, you know, they're they're a big gaming brand, and uh, you know, I, I support them and whatnot. And I think a lot of those guys are are really talented. So yeah, Optic. You got a unique opportunity right now for any shout outs to your friends, family, anybody at home that just watched you win this FFA tournament. Yeah. Well, hopefully my mom's watching this because uh, you know last night I texted her like you better support me. So 10 a.m. live. So uh, shout out to my mom. Uh, my girlfriend, who's right over there with me, who's uh, been supportive and uh, very helpful this weekend. Um, shout out to my, my coach slash teacher. He's uh, helped me with a lot of uh, bodily issues that I've had from just sports. Like, I'm pretty banged up. But he's uh, just sitting would be kind of, like, painful me, for me at times. So uh, actually playing just right now, like, there's no aches or pains in my body. So shout out to my coach, Matt. Um, and shout out to all my brothers. I come from a big gaming family. My uh, brother's into Dota and stuff, like whatever. But, uh, <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but yeah, shout out to them too. Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome back to the Halo World Championships live from Burbank, California at the ESL Studios. I feel like a winner because I'm at the Xfinity desk with Walshy and Wonderboy. The W winner, I was going for a W thing there, right? Oh, oh. oh. both right, your yeah, names I start with W. It, Wait, yeah. really? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, I guess it does. Stay tuned for all the jokes. <laughs> but we're about we're moments away from getting into our first match. But first, let's talk about that FFA guys. A ton of fun to see Rasa Libre come out on top there. Great to hear him in that interview as well. He used to be a wrestler, or was it a boxer? Bo or boxer. Or both. Boxer. Probably yeah. both. I know Walsh used to be a boxer. So tell me what you think. I actually used to be a wrestler. Really? Yeah. Okay, there, there you go. go. Shot the dark. <laughs> all right. Well, uh, Rasa <laughs> Libre, you can tell, just a competitive person in general. Uh, Free for all is sometimes really tough to break down. I'm sure well, Wonder World tells this, MC had to cast last one, but <laughs> there's just so much going on. I mean, it's a game of calculated risks the entire match. There's gonna be plenty of times where you get 
couple kills strung together, and that's about the best you could possibly do with that single life. Yeah, a lot of it does depend on your spawns as well, right? If you spawn in the basement and there's a guy in the base above you, it's so hard to get out of that kind of position because you have to either take the 1v1, in which case you have to win it, otherwise you're going to fall off the pack a little bit, or you just have to run out and die and hope for a better spawn next time, right? So, yeah, it was that was a fun one, fun one to cast, definitely. Um, but... Again, like congratulations to Rasa Libre. He played very well. Um, FFA pretty much a game of kill stealing and, and calculated risks, like you said, um, and most of his risks paid off. So congratulations to him. I want to see Rasa Libre on the main stage at the next Halo World Championship. So yeah. Rasa Libre, don't retire, dude. You're good at <laughs> Halo. You're good at Halo. He's average at best. Um, maybe. That being said, one v one me, bro. Oh, no, just, no, no, oh no, no, my no, god. No, I'm sorry. No, I made right. a <laughs> we'll have to have a uh, commentator free for all so we can all just beat Sims. Yeah, I'm down for that. Yeah, let's go. Just Absolutely. kidding, Sims. I love you.